DRDO has launched development of the Quadrature Monopulse Feed Seeker, QMF, an advanced Ku band radar guidance system designed to boost the accuracy of India's next generation missiles. Featuring boresight error less than 0.1 degrees and high resistance to jamming, the seeker marks a leap in indigenous radar technology. Recent tenders from DRDO's Ranga Ready facility confirm the project's prototyping phase, with flight trials expected by mid-2026, furthering India's Atmanirbhar Bharat defense self-reliance push. IIT Bombay researchers led by Professor Dwipian Mukherjee developed a control method that lets UAVs fly precise swarms without GPS, inter-drone comms, or a central controller. Using only bearing-only camera measurements, VTOL tests showed under 5% formation error and 20% energy savings. Scalable to 10 to 100 drones, the approach enables reliable operations in GPS-denied or jammed areas for surveillance, disaster response, and contested military missions. The Indian Air Force has launched the Mihar Baba Competition 4 to develop long-range cargo drones capable of carrying 300 kilograms, over 300 to 500 kilometers for supply missions across the Lakshadweep Islands. Announced by Vice Chief Air Marshal Narmdeshwar Tiwari, the initiative seeks industry-led UAV solutions for remote logistics, disaster relief, and defense support. With over 100 startups participating Mihar Baba Competition 4, aligns with Atmanirbhar Bharat and aims for prototype rollout within three years. Armenia is reportedly negotiating with India to acquire 8-12 to Su-30 MKI fighter jets from HAL, marking a strategic shift from its dependence on Russia. The $3 billion deal would equip Yerevan with aircraft featuring Indian upgrades, like the Utama ESA radar and BrahMos NG compatibility. Frustrated by Russia's delivery delays, Armenia seeks reliable partners amid regional tensions with Azerbaijan's JF-17 fleet. Deliveries could begin by 2026, deepening Indo-Armenian defense cooperation. Thales is hiring Rafaeli Export Technical Assistance at Ambala Air Force Station to bolster on-site support for India's Rafaeli fleet. The move strengthens Indo-French defense ties and ensures peak performance of Thales systems, including AESA radar and Spectra EW suites. Embedded with IAF's No. 17 Squadron, recruits will aid diagnostics, training and logistics, enhancing fleet availability. The initiative aligns with expanding Rafaeli offsets in future MRFA opportunities in India's defense modernization drive. The Central Scientific Instruments Organization, a premier lab under the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, has showcased a next-generation smart head-up display for India's AMCA stealth fighter, featuring waveguide optics, digital projection, and 50% lower power use. The system is 30% lighter, sharper, and stealth-optimized, enhancing pilot situational awareness. Developed for integration within two years, it marks a leap in indigenous avionics for fifth-gen jets. The HUD builds on CSIO's legacy models, Fort Tejas and Su-30 MKI, aligning with India's self-reliance and AMCA's 2028 flight timeline. DRDO's gas turbine research establishment GTRE is set to begin trials in 2026 for its 2.7 kN microburst turbojet, a lightweight indigenous engine, powering the upcoming air-launched air-to-surface missile. Designed for sustained supersonic flight and fuel efficiency, the 25 kg engine marks a major step toward self-reliant propulsion. Intended for Rafaeli M Su-30 MKI and Tejas MK-2A platforms, the air-launched air-to-surface missile will deliver 300 to 500 km precision strikes for both Navy and Air Force missions. Shield AI's India head, Sarjan Shah, 
has hinted that the revolutionary expat, the world's first AI-piloted VTOL fighter jet, could soon join the Indian Air Force's fleet. Unveiled in 2025, XBAT combines vertical takeoff agility, 2,000 mile endurance, Mach 0.9 speed, and full autonomy, powered by Shield's HiveMind AI. The platform can function as a collaborative combat aircraft wingman to India's upcoming AMCA or Su 30 MKI, operating from runway free forward bases. Designed for ISR, SEAD, and strike missions, it promises to bridge India's fifth generation fighter gap aligning with New Delhi's Atmanurbar and unmanned warfare vision through potential local production partnerships. India is investing Rs 65,400 crore, or $7.44 billion, to develop and produce over 1,100 indigenous fighter jet engines by 2035, marking a major leap toward aerospace self-reliance. Led by DRDO's Gas Turbine Research Establishment, GTRE under SV Ramana Murthy, the initiative will power future platforms like Tejas MK2, AMCA, and unmanned combat aircraft. Collaborations with GE, Safran, and Rolls-Royce aim to co-develop fifth-generation propulsion systems, while HAL and private firms join production efforts. Backed by the Atmanurbar Bharat vision, the program seeks to reduce imports, strengthen India's air power, and create a globally competitive defense manufacturing ecosystem. In a major boost to India's stealth fighter roadmap, the Indian Air Force plans to procure nearly 250 advanced medium combat aircraft units, doubling its initial 120 jet order across MK-1 and MK-2 variants. Developed by DRDO's ADA, the 25-ton twin-engine jet will feature stealth shaping, internal weapon bays, and supercruise capability. Future MK2 and MK3 versions will integrate sixth-generation technologies, such as AI-driven man-on-man teaming, directed energy weapons, and adaptive stealth coatings. Production, led by HAL and private partners, begins post-2032, cementing AMCA as the backbone of India's air dominance through 2060 and beyond. That's all for today, hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.